So, you're wondering why you should switch to the pipe wire. Now, for, on the website for pipe wire, it seeks to be a replacement for Pulse Audio, which is a replacement for Ulsa. However, pipe wire also works with Jack, uh, Pulse Audio, and Ulsa. So it's an all-encompassing replacement. And even fixes some of the weird glitches that can occur with Pulse Audio. While it does have its own glitches, it, it seems to be more like glitches of what happens when you have software that's still in development rather than software that just has glitches in it. Pipewire also design works securely with Wayland and Flatpak. How do you set up Pipewire? Well, I have this virtual machine ready to show you how to install and set up Pipewire. So the first thing I want to do is uninstall Pulse Audio. But luckily, by installing Pipewire, it'll install it for you, or Pipewire Pulse. So to set up also Jack and Pulse Audio, with the work with the Pipewire, you need to install these packages. In order to set up Pipewire, you need the packages Pipewire, Pipewire Pulse, Pipewire Ulsa, and Pipewire Jack. Now, there's additional packages install, like Pipewire Docs for additional documentation, album or, or patch base, so you can dynamically alter audio, because that's what's useful about Pipewire, is you can move audio around. I've had fun, or I need to take desktop audio and share it in a video call. And so I was using Helvium, I can go ahead and move audio around. Another program you can install is Easy Effects, which allows you to do dynamic on the fly audio ed editing, or not editing, uh, using filters and whatnot. But that'll be a separate video on how it works. I shall install these packages. Oh, okay, it's Pepper Docs. So as you see, when you go and install it, you'll see Piper Pulse and Pulse Audio in conflict, and it'll ask you to remove it, and it will be yes. And Piper Jack in conflict, yes. So Now, there's one more program you need to install. If you can go ahead and set up Pipewire. That program is called Wire Plumber. And the last thing I would move Pipewire Media Session, I'm going to say yes. So I was going to ask you to remove it, and we are going to remove it because the ArtWiki even recommends that you use Wire Plumber rather than Pipewire Media Session because it just it works better, so I'm going to proceed. So I got that all set up. So, what now? First thing we're going to do is we need to start the Pulse Audio service in System D. if you have a System D, Not sure what the other init systems are, but that's what we have to do. So, sudo ctl start pipe wire pulse. This seems to not be working, so instead we'll just reboot, which is another way to get it working. But before we do that, we need to run the program Wire Plumber. Now, how do you do that? Well, what you want to do is is modify your Xunit RC. So. The XNRC is a file that is executed every single time X is started. And do is just add, I, oh, I just add wire plumber, uh, and the and will start it as its own separate process. So that's good. Now all we have to do is reboot, and pipe wire should be working. So I'll pause the video and get back to you. Okay, I'm back, and we, we can do a t quick test to see if Pipewire is running or not. So, so we can see by doing pack, it'll 
in info, which should say that we should be running Pulse Audio on Pipewire. We could do a quick test with Firefox and play a video. see that it, it now works and you can do all sorts of fun things like if I get help them you can see you can modify where things come in and out and say you want to play music for your friends you can easily wire this into another program like discord or you don't need to use some bot instead you just have to have a person be your dj and so that was a video on how to install and set up pipewire hope you have a nice day see you next time